the secret to styling a bookshelf properly? Well, I could tell you the secret, but mm -hmm. this is not radio. You can see there's TV cameras and an audience here. We're gonna, so I'm gonna show you. You're gonna show me how I'm to gonna, do it. I'm gonna show you. You should show me how to do it. Okay, so how do we, uh, how do we start? So, I mean, this looks good. Right, exactly. You have these lovely bookshelves. Maybe you've had them for a while now. Clearly, someone's put some effort into yes. how things are staged and how it's styled. But what happens for all of us is we stop seeing the, the objects we've purchased in the past, the objects we love, yeah. when they've been in the same place for a while. Forever. You just, it becomes background noise. Yeah. And these objects, of course, every single one of them is beautiful. I got everything here at LT and LT Market, my nice. favorite stores. So, there's nothing wrong with any of this, but I want to jolt us out of style complacency. Oh my gosh, okay. That is the technical term and it is bad. So but we there's need a to cure. refresh. There's, yes, we need to refresh. Okay, what's the cure? The cure is Dr. We Kimberly. Going to, we're going to take every, my parents would have been so happy. Right? <gasps> Mine we're <gonna> too. Take, <laughs> doctor of decorating. <laughs> we're going to take everything off these bookshelves, everything. Everything? And we're going to start over. Everything, yes. Okay, we're going to do that. We can't just move stuff around? No. Okay. We, we've been doing that, right? That's yeah. what happens. You get a birthday gift, and oh, it's going to go here. you got another book. I'll just add it here. Yeah. And suddenly, maybe it looked good when you first started, but you notice that it migrates, and it turns into something. Well, yeah. And I do want to say, if you if you want to figure out if you have style complacency, yeah. the you take a photo of whatever area you want to work on. And you can tell right away in a photo, it looks cluttered, it looks yeah. disorganized, yeah. it's not giving me joy anymore. Or it looks the same as 2012. Right. Right? In so case, maybe it's time for a switch up, because that's my situation. It looks great, but it's like, it's been the same it's since we moved in. It's been great for a long, long time. time. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I'm exhausted. Are you happy? Look at you. <laughs> you haven't even finished. What a slacker. I'll do it. Okay. You're the host. I oh. know. <laughs> Flustered and sweaty. Right? Oh. This is a tough gig, this decorating stuff. Trust me. All right, but we have to do that because we want to see everything with new eyes, including the beautiful bookshelves you bought. Okay. Right? So now they're fresh. You can look back, you can say to yourself, okay, now I can start from scratch and I can right. really make this new and fantastic. Right. How do we start? Okay, so we're gonna start by selecting out of the objects you already own. You get to go shopping with things you already own. Okay. I mean, you can't do better price-wise. Select <laughs> an item that you think is worthy of display. Something that you would feel really proud about, you love your friends to notice. It might be expensive, it might not. It might just be beautiful. Okay, I and can I pick can whatever I want. I can tempt you. How about an orange candle? No, thanks. Uh, <laughs> a Lemony Snicket book? Uh, oh, I look, pass. Look what you grabbed. Well, I mean, it's the shape of it. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's like... Where are you going with that? Where are you going gonna with go that? I'm going to go down here. Okay, so I love that. It's Gotta a vase. Got to start somewhere. Right? It's a vase. It's practical. Yeah. But this is the thing you love the most. Yeah, so totally. I would suggest that we get it up higher at eye level. That. Right? It's okay. like grocery stores. They put right. stuff down low that they don't really want you to buy. It's right. the stuff that's not profitable <laughs> or not attractive. Look at Does this work, Miss Designer? That, now I can see it, right? Yeah, yeah. Everybody who comes in the house is going to see yes. it. Yes. Beautiful. Right? Okay, so now what do I do? So now this is your quarterback. Okay. The rest of the team has to take care of the quarterback. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets on this bookshelf. It doesn't look good beside mm -hmm. that vase. So now you're going to strategically choose some other items that you okay. think look good. And you're going to not necessarily put them on the same shelf oh. because you don't want to overcrowd the books, right? The bookshelf. Right. So, and I wouldn't choose books just yet because those become background noise for sure. So an object also that you, you think is also beautiful. I have an idea. You do? <laughs> okay, that this. is so sad. <laughs> yes. Well, if it's paint by numbers, that makes sense. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> Is that how it was enough. before? That's beautiful. No, I think that's it, nice. It was down there before. Yeah. What I like about this is you haven't split up this pair of objects. They should be which together. Probably belongs together. Yeah. But I think you could do something a bit more adventurous. Oh my gosh, what? And I also think you want to. You don't want to ignore the other shelves. You don't want to put right. all the joy in one place. So what else are you going to add? Now, am I going for something original, or do they got to match the quarterback stuff? Uh, it's everything 
everything has to match okay. the court. Not match, but feel okay. good with, harmonize with, work with. How about this Be awkward fan-like thing? It's pretty. Well, yeah, that's quite a that's quite a statement. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't like let's it. Let's see. No, let's you see don't... what you're going to do with it. Okay. See... Well, now I'm putting this here. Okay. So that's excellent. <laughs> Never yeah. mind. I'm putting this here. So thank you for reminding me of the next the next tip. Yeah. Before you go shopping for new things for your bookshelves, what are you going to do? Does it fit? You're going to measure. Got measure it. the height, measure yeah. the width, and measure the depth. Because okay. otherwise you're going to get home with this beautiful object. Right. And it's not going to fit. Right. And that's frustrating. Or you could also choose things that are just too small. You really want that candle there. It's just too small, right? Oh, okay, it's just yeah. too small. I agree. It's too small. And now, go ahead. So I just, I'm, I'm wondering, like, do the books come last? Well, you begin to use them to fill in. And okay. I would say I probably would avoid, for the most part, you know, paperbacks and go for my biggest and best beautiful books. So, yeah. for example, ugh, because they weigh a ton, I'm thinking yeah. maybe something like this. And maybe if you scooch those over, yeah. we could... Ugh, uh, I should have put two. a timer on as to how long it was going to take for you to take over. Because I know in you, like in your heart of hearts, you're like, just let me do just it. Don't put it there. Let me do it. I know, I know. But I'm going to give you a cheat now. Okay, go ahead. You, what I used to do, if you have a long bookcase or you have two bookcases, I used to like put something here and then put something there. Yeah. And then put something here and put something there. And you never felt like I was getting anywhere. Yeah. I've learned to take one section of the bookcase. Okay. Or one, ha one bookcase. Okay. Style it so it's beautiful. Uh-huh. And then total cheat. We're going to mirror that on this side. Oh, that's Completely smart. mirror it. So you've got this focal point. Yeah. We need to mirror the focal point. It's beautiful, and I wish we had seven more hours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to really come together, though, and I know that you're going to make it look absolutely gorgeous and brand new just shopping our own like decor, yes. um, but I'm gonna let you do it. <laughs> now, Kimberly has been busy putting the finishing touches on these bookshelves that we started styling at the beginning of this show. So I want to see what she came up with. It's looking amazing. Thank you. Where were you? Right. Where I was working. I was busy doing some other stuff. But I'm wondering now that I look at this and it's so beautifully curated, have I just been putting too many things on my bookshelf? That's what happens. We just get in the habit of like, oh, I got this beautiful thing. I don't know where it goes. I'll just put it here. Yeah. And we stop seeing it. So that's why a photo is really helpful. And you think what I post that is on Insta, would I do a TikTok with this bookshelf? If not, take everything down, start over. Right. This is very disciplined. What I have it here. Is. It's not always realistic, right? Some of us have stuff. So yeah. on the bottom, I've got some baskets. The baskets are hiding my paperbacks. Those They're, are nice baskets, though. Right? Very nice. They're hiding my Southern Biscuits recipe book. <laughs> yes, they are. Which is never far from me, I need to tell you. <laughs> Tablecloths. I've got dishes. Right. I've got mugs. I've got bowls. Like, there's absolutely no reason you can't put these to practical use. Yeah. You just want to do it so you're not looking at a lot of visual clutter. It makes sense that you would have a space that's going to be gorgeous but functional. And if you need to do right. that by hiding things in baskets, like right. the third set of dishes that you have nowhere to put, <laughs> right. throw them here in a basket and no one can see them, right? Exactly right. Exactly right. When you left, we yeah. were talking about the focal point and how you mirror a focal point. Right. So, so this, this was my guy. Exactly. So... Or my obviously, girl, she's beautiful and curvy, isn't she? Is she? kind of curvy. She's yeah. lovely. Um, obviously, you could you could buy a duplicate, or if you have two of something, it's a perfect mirror. In a different color is a little more interesting. Yes. But I think still more interesting. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm telling you, it is so, if you haven't been to LT and LT Market, go, because it's fun. That's beautiful. Like, look how pretty that is. Very now, nice. It's not the same at all. Right. But it's got the same visual weight. So yeah. visual weight happens when you give it more contrast or when you give it more pattern. Mm. So here we've got something that has more pattern than that. Yes. And a little bit more contrast. And I think it becomes more interesting. Um, I totally see that this is very designer-y. Yes. And right? so I think maybe we've gone too far with the black and white. And maybe we should introduce some color. We're going to put a little pop of color in there. Right. And so these, this is actually that picture that we refer to. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? That's like, actually a water picture. It's a like, water that's picture. stunning. I love that's that. really nice. Well, you can put whatever you want in there. There is no judgment. <laughs> There what is, are you saying? And it's so Kimberly? close. It's in the living room. The kids are in the other room. <laughs> That's right. 
No like, one's gonna know. Whatever, no one's gonna know. Right? How do you so, pick what color you wanna go with? Do you have a rule for that? You can either look around your house and see what's gonna make sense, yes. right? You can match what you have around your house, but if you do that, you're making it less exciting. Right. So if you pick a different color, a color yeah. that pops, a color you love, that's gonna make it more exciting. And if you go monochrome, so for example, like Tracy, you could, we could remove that white bowl there. Sure. And we could start getting into some more color. Yeah. You know, and begin to build in a little bit more color. You're gonna get color from Lovely. your books, of course. Yes. Now some people are really fussy about books. Mm -hmm. They don't want to see the spine. So mm -hmm. you can take obviously you can take the covers off. You can only buy black and white books for the rest of your life. <laughs> But I just, I like to read. You like Me to too. read. So I'm going to have a little bit of authenticity on my bookshelf. Yeah, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's weird to go and get books that you've never read in your entire life just to design your house. I mean, I've got too many books for us for that to be a reality. Right? If it's going to be the real books that we're actually reading yeah. that are up on the if, shelf. If you go to your house or my house and you see medical books, there's some posing going on. Right? Right? You see different <laughs> books. You know I didn't right read house. that for fun. Right, yeah. right. No. I also want to say you can also stand books up and they become yes. like a piece of art. Well, you can put nice. pieces of art into it as yes. well. And another thing you can do, I love the idea of raising things up and you can elevate a small object yes. with a stack of books, but you can also elevate a small object with a plinth. Oh, a plinth. A plinth. It just sounds like the sort of thing that belongs in a museum. Now it sounds fancy, doesn't it? Yes, it's a but plinth. But one of my favorite cheats for plinths mm -hmm. are acrylic boxes. So this would hold Kleenex oh, okay. or guest towels, but turned upside down. It's a plinth. It's a plinth. That's and now so you've got nice. a couple of beautiful candles there. So you're beginning Gorgeous. to just add in that color. And again, it doesn't have to be in every. There's, we're getting it in the book. We've mm -hmm. got a little here. We've got a little there. Little just touches here and there. Go slowly, take a picture in between. Yeah. Let it breathe. Now, I notice you also put a picture of me up, and I you did. very rarely try to do things to make me happy. <laughs> so this is so lovely. But the point of it is that you can personalize it. Like, you don't want every bun bignetti from every wedding you've ever been to on your bookshelf. Exactly. But you can put the odd photo or what have you that reminds you of that great vacation or a moment you loved or, yeah. you know, your doggy. Yeah, and you can change put it, up there it, right? Like, and I change know the kids it. get new photos every year. Yes. Like, you don't have to have every year since they were born. Right. That's <laughs> lovely, but let's not. It's like do you're it. looking into my home. Exactly, <laughs> right? So feel free to change things up. And I yeah. think that's really what it's about. Sometimes you do need to go shopping yes right because you don't have the right things but sometimes you need to just move the things you already own around and totally. get a new appreciation for